Foster is such a beautiful film and I'm glad I had a reason to watch it for the second time. I've seen this before and I realised I hadn't logged it on Letterboxd when I was looking for films to watch and then I realised I hadn't even reviewed it to the point where I was questioning whether I'd seen it but I definitely had. So I thought this is a really good excuse to watch it again because I don't really watch that many films more than once because I'd rather watch something I hadn't seen. But I remembered really loving this the first time. So I thought I'd check it out again, refresh my memory for the review and also see if it lived up to my memory. And I'm really, really pleased to say that it absolutely did. This was released originally in 2011. It's directed and written by Jonathan Newman and it stars Tony Collette and Joan Griffith as Zoe and Alec. And we have some other great people in the cast and I'll talk about them in a moment. But just very briefly, this will be spoiler free as well. Zoe and Alec have had something tragic happen to them. We don't quite know what it is to begin with. We know that there was an accident that led Zoe to not being able to conceive a child. And they decide to visit this foster home to consider fostering. And the next thing they know, there's a little boy on their doorstep called Eli, played by Morris Cole. And this is a good film. It's a good narrative. But the reason it works so well is because Eli is such a likable character. His part of the dialogue is wonderful. And obviously, so much credit there goes to Morris Cole. He did an amazing job with this character and it's just an absolute joy to watch and he arrives a little bit mysteriously because obviously he has arrived unannounced and without an adult he says that Mrs Lang who owns the children's home or the foster home had sent him she's actually played by Hayley Mills she's in it a little bit not a tremendous amount but enough and it's all about Zoe and Alec getting used to Eli being there and they both have very different responses and obviously very changing responses as the film progresses. And it's basically all about the joy and different perspectives that Eli can bring to them. There's also, there are a few other messages in there as well, but the main message is all about the fact that life is what it is and you can't always see what's going to happen or predict what's going to happen, but it's about being there for each other and making the best of what you have and caring for what you have. And there are some really good reasons why this message comes about. I don't want to spoil it too much, but it's a beautiful message that's really well told. And Eli is just absolutely fantastic. We also have Anne Reid and Richard E. Grant in the cast. Their characters, again, are in it a reasonable amount, but it definitely mostly focuses on Zoe, Alec and Eli. And in fact, I think Eli is... Once he arrives, and he arrives really early on in the film, I think he's in pretty much every scene, I think. I could be wrong. There might be one or two small scenes he's not in, but generally he's right throughout the heart of the film, and rightly so, because it's a brilliant character and a wonderful performance. There are some really fun scenes. I will tell you what my favourite scene is in a moment, but it's not really a spoiler for the narrative, but I don't want to spoil my favourite part, just in case you don't want to know, but you probably know which scene it is anyway. I am so glad that for whatever reason, I didn't log watching it before. I didn't review it. I don't feel like it was that long ago that I saw it, but maybe it was and it just was so memorable that it felt like it wasn't that long ago. Either way, I'm thrilled to have rewatched it. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, I should also mention... Tony Collette has a Scottish accent in this. I don't know why. I, As a Scottish person, I don't mind it. I did read some reviews about this film after I watched it again, and uh, some people are not happy with her accent. Honestly, I don't see the point in it, but I don't mind it. But that's just something I feel like I had to mention. Being Scottish, I don't care about it. So, wonderful film. Really thoroughly enjoyed it absolutely recommend it. So just very briefly, my favourite scene, absolutely my favourite scene, well it's actually a, a montage of clips filmed in one of the most magical places in the world, not Disneyland, it is Legoland and I love the scenes there, I think they're so fun and because I've been to Legoland it gave me that 
fuzzy, happy memory. And it's it's beautifully done in, in the film. So definitely really good fun. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. Eli is brilliant. Morris Cole did an amazing job with the character. And as I said, I don't normally watch films twice. I wouldn't mind watching this a third time. Not immediately, not anytime soon. But if I ever have an, an occasion to watch this in the future, I, I'd be quite quite happy to do that. Foster really is a really beautiful film. 